Okay, so I did a little naughty tweet and now my mentions are completely uninhabitable. So I thought I would step outside to relax, take in some sun. And I thought I would try a new method of dealing with the haters, which is while I'm enjoying my luxurious life of relaxation, I will just kind of scroll through my phone and respond verbally to whatever attacks or responses I think are most stupid or funny or important. Yeah, so basically what I tweeted was that there is a logical connection between kind of anti-family, anti-traditionalist, sex-positive, kind of lefty academic feminist types that are very fashionable right now, and people like Jeffrey Epstein. You know, if you really think that the family is a source of great oppression, and you think sex work is not only ethically unproblematic, but even in some ways politically righteous, then, well, that doesn't necessarily mean you support or agree with pedophilia, but you do have to kind of admit that someone like Jeffrey Epstein, rich people who smash the conventional barriers associated with family domination, for instance, the authority of the father over the young daughter or traditional norms around, well, sex work being <laughs> ethically problematic, you know, you have to see that as, in a way, quite progressive. You might not like the tactics, but as Stalin said, if you want to make an omelet, you got to break some eggs. I actually doubt Stalin said that. That's widely associated with him, but it doesn't seem like the type of phrase that Stalin would invoke. Basically, if you think that the family is bad and you think that sex work is cool, there's just very, very little ground for you to object to 15-year-olds earning money by giving sex to millionaires like Jeffrey Epstein. Obviously, I find it horrifying. I'm against it. But I also think the family is an important institution and the primary vehicle through which children are protected and should be raised. I also think that while I don't personally judge sex workers who need to do sex work to survive, I'm of the now outdated viewpoint that generally selling your body for sex is unethical. Frankly, I think selling your mind for, for money also is unethical, but at least I'm honest about that hypocrisy. I don't think that there is ultimately any way to firmly defend the sanctity of children, especially their sexual inviolability, unless you are willing to affirm the control and power of the patriarch. Because if you reject the control and power of the patriarch, your only other recourse is the state or law, which is fine, at least in the short run, but especially in a democratic system, things such as the age of consent are always changing. So you could perfectly well imagine that with changing times, changing norms, perhaps a democratic polity would elect to have the age of consent lowered to three years old or something like this. How would you oppose that? On what basis and with what force? If you throw out traditional family values, I just don't think there's any way to protest, let alone stop that type of thing. And I think that's why my tweet hit such a nerve is because deep down inside the people who think it's really fashionable to shit on the family and to 
act as if sex work is really cool and righteous, those people know damn well that they're relying on contingent social norms to prevent a slide into generally just unconstrained sexual liberalism, including pedophilia. Honestly, I'm going through my mentions right now, and there's really nothing of substance. There's tons of haters, but this is how you know you've really hit, hit a nerve on a really good point. This is how you know that you're so smart and you see through the lies of all the normies is when you get ratioed, quote unquote. What a myth, by the way. Getting ratioed is a total myth. People talk about that as if it's a bad thing, but it's a great thing. As far as I'm concerned, in my history of tweeting, all the tweets I got ratioed were genuinely some of my greatest tweets ever. And so, yeah, I don't know why people are afraid of getting ratioed. It's a sign that you're actually smarter than all the normies who are triggered. Just saying. Um, yeah, I'm looking for like good critiques and there's nothing. It's mostly just like, oh my God, epic, terrible take. Oh, worst take of the day. Honestly, the one semi-intelligent critique is about age of consent, basically saying that my analogy doesn't hold because anti-family, sex-positive feminists respect the age of consent. But that's not a real good objection to my argument, precisely because if you change the age of consent, then they're going to change their norms, because that's essentially all they have to rely on as the main preventative kind of blockage to unconstrained liberal sexual free-for-all, including pedophilia. And so, for instance, there are different countries with different ages of consent. If you want to get really edgy, um, unfortunately, I hate to break this to you, but if you have men evaluate the sexual attractiveness of, let's say, thousands of different women, and you control for the other factors, guess what the optimal age is for a woman in the eyes of the average man? It's about 14 years old. So that's pretty dicey. We don't really like to talk about that. But it's not for nothing that many countries do have ages of consent that are actually much lower than we do in, in the Western countries. So what, what do the anti-family sex-positive feminists say about those countries? Surely, if it's legal for you to consent to sex at whatever age, then... It's perfectly reasonable for you to defy the orders of your father and to take up sex work at that age, right? Would a traditional kind of contemporary feminist have any objection to that? What would it be? I mean, maybe they would, but I can't think of what it would be. It seems like that is very much the direction of what is fashionable and being pushed by these types of people. Yeah, so I was going to do a video responding to haters, but I'm literally going through my mentions right now and there's just nothing very intelligent that I can see. Nothing worth responding to. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that.